Buenas gente, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Acá estamos un día más y estamos de vuelta con The Wolf Among Us. Vamos a continuar nuestra historia, vamos a jugar el episodio número 4, que se llama Disfraz de Cordero. Vamos a arrancarlo y a ver cómo continúa la historia de Big B. Nuestro de Big B. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think. La sacudía un poquito la puta. Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Yo la que se lioga. But, you know, just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Yo, en personaje, el Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Al ser no estamos tan hechos bielas como un manjaro, ¿no? Ah, ¿qué es ese ruido? ¿Qué? Sí, ¿verdad? Ah, la mierda. Hollow Point Bullets are a nasty business. Apartamento de Big Bean, edificio del bosque a primera hora de la mañana. He'll be okay though. Uf, bueno, está mucho mierda, en verdad. His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep ah. going this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Okay. A ver lo dicho. Ah. Ouch. Otra vez. Segundo try. La segunda está buena. Ahí va. Ahora sí, tiene todos los. Los disparos ahí marcados. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so I'll be fine. If you wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. 
I'll be okay. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. <laughs> oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Como complicados. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Una birrita para How do you, um, calmar el dolor. It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worked. And even he thought you were, I don't know, it was just awful. No, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, the Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options... I don't think I'd pick Desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flying the coop? Or oh, that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. I thought... Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... Lone Shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. 
It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Okay. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen si again. We need rodeados. The fight monsters. Colin, que haga? I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I lost elección? all faith in our ability to help this town. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Hey. Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. I thought. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. No. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Colin se queda what if a Mundi does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. That's not. Que no molesta a nadie. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, <laughs> what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? Nerissa. That broad from the pudding and pie? The Sayonita. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that mm. she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got yeah. an admirer. You always do well que with seguramente the uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor Salió attracts you cuando... like to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the la case. Maybe el, she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Oh, Consider the discussion Lisa. tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. No se va a ir, Se va a quedar acá el, el fucking cerdo. She's a piece of work. <laughs> hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Pues, a lo I mean, mejor. She seemed real serious about ah. it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, 
Maybe a few will get Senna, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Dijiste la amistad sobre las reglas. Muy bien. A ver qué nos dice Nerissa. ¡Ja! La cara. Bueno. Y así arranca el capítulo o el episodio número 4 de The Wolf Among Us. Está poniendo interesante la, la situación. Episodio 4. Disfraz de Cordero. Hi, Sheriff. Oficina de Bigby, edificio del bosque por la mañana. Hi, Nerissa. ¿Para qué nos cuenta Nerissa? Have a seat. Are you okay? Well, you didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Un respetón toque. ¿Qué te pasa? Es lo que te trae por aquí. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is... O sea, no puedo I don't want to waste your time. But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Entonces, back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. Sí. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. Ahí está. You can try. I just go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Yeah. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Hey, see Lily? See Is this making any sense? See. I'm not sure how I can... Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? ¿Qué estás diciendo? ¿Que deberías sospechar de ellos? ¿Hay alguien...? Are you telling me my friends are involved? Snow? No, no. I'm sorry. Diciendo esta muchacha. I could do this. 
I need you to know I want to help, but but Love your thumbs up. But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Same. Do you like it? Hmm? Mm. Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. Será eso lo That's que why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? La cinta es el ribbon. The ribbon. Se lo va a sacar. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! The lips are sealed! What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, ¿Qué pasa si se la quita? ¿Se muere? If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Uy, cagadón. Si dirás. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. Como que no confío en el no esta, ¿no? Y nos dijo que deberíamos. Abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Deberíamos investigar nuestro siguiente asunto. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry, I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic. We managed to understand each other. <laughs> I did my job, my way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. And the past few days have been... <sighs> trying. You have to trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay then. Good work. Yeah. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to.
¿Qué otros asuntos? Hmm. Suspicios. Departamento de Bella y Bestia, edificio del bosque a mediodía. Quiero escuchar un poquito de qué hablan. Bien. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No. That was forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet with all the around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? <clears throat> Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. Yeah, see, we've been married to each other. Tiene un montón de cosas como de de su cuento, ¿no? Talk about living in the past. Por facheres, super de la realeza. We need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. ¿Qué me quieren decir? A ver. <coughs> Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh... Expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the crooked man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of 
lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Kinnis? Hello? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... No, no, no. A day at the beach? Hey, the we're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cause next time, I'm making a house call. The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money... That's where I went. Jersey. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly, it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money, you don't have... Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there... I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is... It's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She... Uh, 
gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for Beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Well, see, no, probably not. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Mujeres gira entre el Lucky Pound, el lugar donde empeñan cosas, o la carnicería, donde hacen las en, lo, el empaquetamiento y las entregas. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop. No piense que hay carne dentro de. That's where I bought. You know that butcher shop. De los packages. De los paquetes. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop. The cut above. Ciertas cajas. The thing is, que van hacia. I don't think it's meat in the packages. El crooked man. Entonces you know puede ser que esto sea bastante relacionado también. Vamos a probar la cabecería a ver qué onda. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Big B, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out what do you mean well maybe you can make this all just go away we would really appreciate it what do you say can you help us out I'll handle it I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives oh thank you Big B I'm sure you'll do the right thing A ver qué encontramos acá. La sería el buen corte. Calle Tucumán. Arre. Tucumán por la tarde. Buff. Qué plano, eh. Obviamente. Hay que decir nuestro roleplay de que no respetamos las reglas. Es un bad boy. Bad boy. A.K.A. Chico malo. On los menus. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Terrible fachada. Tapadera right. total. Carne congelada. Pero está muy congelado, ¿no? Not very appetizing. Es una piedra. Solid. Who'd want to eat this? Vamos a pasar. Whoop. Big B Wolf? El mismo. <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <laughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast, tongue. Directo, no? Got some tongue here. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. 
<laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meet. You'll find anything else. else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. Mierda. I, Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I sí, just sí, have sí, to sí, go sí. see. Hey, el botón. Bien. Shit. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. en silencio para que no sepa dónde estamos. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. Yo tengo perro. He's gonna get me killed. Please, Bigby, please don't. Bigby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Shut the fuck up. <coughs> what the fuck are you hiding back there? <laughs> you, you, you're a monster. A fucking monster. Why are you doing this? I'm not part of their crew. Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. That's enough, Johan. I've heard all I need to. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Tenemos fuerza para matar eso. A lot of fuerza. Oh, elementos químicos y muchos químicos. Run. ¿Hay grilletes ahí en el piso? Me parece ver. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. Still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. 
No, no tenía que hacerlo, pero es imbécil. You come in here making trouble for me, but you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? All right, Johan, do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? Ahí está esa la caja que vimos nosotros anteriormente. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, El amor. other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Y la seguís, hermano. ¿Cuál es tu puto problema? That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Okay. Huh. Looks like... Math or something. Everybody on here? Yo. You know anything about this? Lily. I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot clientes? of things. Vivian, Nerissa. Mr. White! <gasps> Jesse, we need to cook some glamour. ¿Qué carajo? Mr. White. Y encima esto es como muy la... Una parte de la serie, ¿no? A lo último cuando tenían de esclavo a Jesse cocinando. Bueno, tremendo spoiler, ¿no? Pero. Bueno, a espabilar gente. Mira la serie. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Jesse, me he transformado en un lobo. Getting chained up here. You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Sangre. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials and the slave labor to process them. Sí. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. And it's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's He's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Oh, puta. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Te quedaste atrás, hermano. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. 
Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. A lucky pawn. A Mierda. lucky pawn. They probably took Crane there too. The lucky pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people. You should have just stayed home, spent the day chain smoking. Sometimes there's only one way to do this job: creative destruction. I heard that on TV. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm going to take them down. Buff. Vamos a por eso. Esa es. Esa es. Bueno, acá está el Lucky Pong. Llegamos. El peón afortunado. El Bronx. A última hora. Por ahí está. ¿Qué the fuck is going on? I'm just gonna. I'm the guy that keeps shit in order. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? Se ha llevado algo en este hijo puta, ¿no? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hey, see you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna. Rip your fucking lungs out! I'd like to see you try you back with the fuck. Pull it, Woody. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Anyone, and I mean anyone who gets in the way of that, has something else coming to him. Will you get out of here? Go home. Not until this fucker gives me my axe. How you feeling today, Sheriff? <sighs> oh, still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? <laughs> Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? <laughs> It's my fight, dammit. Go sniff around somewhere else. Woody? What? Carajo. <laughs> Ronaldinho Sauce. Protected your friend. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> Go on. Try to stop me. <laughs> Fucking stay down. There she is. Dale, baby. Oh, I found 
Missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. Where'd they take it? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No yeah, time sure. traveler's checks, huh? Pona. He won't be needing this anymore. Palak. Bigby Ratero. That sick piece of snow. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Nice. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it going to do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. I don't have to listen to this shit. Out of smoke? Pero no los critiques. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. Damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me.
I don't care who killed the prostitute. Okay. More than just his lung. himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking ball himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Yeah. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. But that's over now. Because we just got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Segundito. A ver si se huyó algo esto, eh. Espera un momentito. Report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? All right. <laughs> Sheriff, okay. I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? <laughs> you like it all. Uh... Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I got to Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. But I'm taking a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours and how it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Good. You have. It's all. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, 
I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. Ojo, but thanks viene. for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Okay. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> okay. Mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? Donde vas tu tan bonito? I don't recognize the door, but... That's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold yeah. off. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him, so I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Sí, está ahí. Se viene. O el tengo presentimiento de que algo va a pasar. Gorila. Vamos. Good evening, Sheriff. 
I'm here to take you to the boss. Introduce him. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not someone like that. Like you. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. With the manipulator, man. He gave me a job. Simple as and that. I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe. Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are gonna get ugly in a minute. Leave. I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> Go ask some kind of fucking joke to you. What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. You got a job to Thanks. do. I am. Sheriff Wolf, sir. On todos acá, ¿qué es esto? Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff is in the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Oof, que va a estar bueno, eh? Vamos a hacerlo a lo Big B. Cine. Buff. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. 